welcome back to my channel once again this is agnes and for today's video i'm going to show you how to automate your tasks in your business or in your work all right so this is with the use of this very powerful online automation tool that we call zapier okay so what is zapier yes as i've said this is an online automation tool that connects two or more apps to automate repetitive or long tasks without coding or relying to a developer or programmer and that means you will not spend more money for them okay and that would also mean that you are going to save a lot of time and money okay so before we begin our tutorial proper let us first learn some common terms on uh the common terms that we are going to use in this video so we have three terms right here and we have zap so when you say zap this is an automated workflow between your apps so when you say or when i say zap so you always think of automated workflow and this consists of two or more connected apps and also it consists of two parts which we call trigger and action so when you say trigger this is the event in an app that starts the app okay and when you say action this is the event that that completes the zap i know you're kind of confused but don't worry we will start a video now to better explain it to you what are all these ter terms okay so let's get started now so of course guys you have to first create a zapier account and you have to sign up for a free account so you just have to type in your name your email address and a password okay and after that you will be directed to this page okay and let me just um adjust this one and you will be directed to this dashboard so you will see here this is your dashboard now so you see this is where you create your workflow and then this is where you see all the popular workflows that you can copy or you can try, okay? And this one is, is your zaps, okay? This is where you see all your zaps or your automated workflow. And for here, we have the apps that you use, okay, for your zaps. And then you have your task history. Then you can explore the apps that you can use or automate and the workflow ideas and if you want to get help if you want to get support so you just click on this and also if you are interested for the upgraded plan you can click this one and you can see all the prices of the plans that are available for starter professional team and company so this is these are the cost okay so you may want to check on that and um you you think uh, what are those plans that are really beneficial for your company or for your work? Okay, so we're done with that. So let's now uh, create your first uh, zap or your first automated workflow. So this is really very uh, simple. You can go here, make a zap, or you can go to your dashboard. Okay, you can type here. Uh, okay, by the way, um, what we are going to do right now is that I want to connect my google sheets to my gmail because let's say for instance i have a google sheets right now okay so i uh, put a title here list of sales agents in double city and i want to email these sales agents in double city i want to email them or send them an email uh, regarding an invitation to a free seminar so of course i want to get their email addresses so imagine if you have a thousand of email addresses right here and you have to do it manually wherein you have to send uh, these people uh, one by one, okay? <laughs> you have to send them email one by one. So that would be very tedious. So here, this is where Zapier will come in, okay, guys? And this will automate your tedious task. So let's get started here. So we have already our Google Sheets, okay? So this will be uh, our trigger, okay? So oh, let's close this one. So that will be our trigger, Google Sheets. And then I want this be connected to our Gmail account. And then when this happens, 
Okay. Let's say this one. New or updated spreadsheet. We will select that one when this happens. Or when, when a new or updated spreadsheet row, then do this. We will send an email. Okay. And then after that, you use Zap. Click on that. And then you have it here. Let's customize and edit, edit all these accounts right here. So Google Sheets, we have my email, my Gmail account. And click continue. And then let's choose the value here. So we choose, of course, my Google Drive. My spreadsheet would be list of sales agents in Davos City because this is what we are going to use as trigger. And then your worksheet, of course, it will be sheet number one, as you can see. And then you have here any column. Oh, well, I will use the email address because I'm going to send emails. So after that, let's click continue. Okay, and then you can test and review or test and continue. All right, so while waiting for that, okay, we can, oh, by the way, you can skip test, guys. If this will take too long, you can just skip test, okay, and continue with the second um, process. So you go to do this, send email in Gmail, Okay, click that email address and then customize our email. So, of course, I'm going to click email address. Okay, this is where uh, this is where I will our email will be sent to. So you choose email address and then if you want to put CC or BCC, you can do that but uh, I will skip that one. So from, say for instance, um, from, uh, lastly, say for instance, uh, real estate seminar provider, okay? company all right so okay we're done with that okay. oh by the way so from nasty gamma gmail of course let's type or insert okay from let's say from what company um real estate Seminar, let's say, seminar provider. Okay. So we're done. And then you put the subject, invitation to a free seminar. Okay. And then we're done. You, I will choose plain, okay. And then... The body, this is the content of your email. Let's say for him here, Miss um, Smith. Okay, and then you you put here, we are inviting you to this and that. Okay, we're not finish that one. So we're done with the body. So let's choose the label or mailbox. That would be inbox. And then if you have some attachments, you can put it here. So for me, I don't have any attachments. So let's click continue. And then test and continue. All right, we're almost done. And then you click done editing. And we will see what happens. So right here, your zap is ready. So you turn your zap on. Okay. Okay, and then you go to my zap. So this is what we have done early, okay, just now, okay? This is what we have done just now. And let's check if 
these people right here with this with this email addresses will receive our email okay so let's try to check so okay uh this one is katagasanayahoo.com let's see It hasn't received anything yet okay i think that would take a moment so let's go to oh i'm sorry the second one so let's go to vikmar this email okay so you see regard re seminar provider invitation to a free seminar so it already has received your email okay so it means to say your zap is working properly your zap is working successfully guys so let's try another one okay say for instance we have another person right here then say Davao city and then with this uh contact number and then with this email address i have another email address um that we can try at gmail earlier uh the other one is at jaho.com.ph and this one would be at gmail.com. So we will try that one, guys. Okay. So let's try. Okay. And we'll see if the vikmardigamon at gmail.com will receive the email. So this is the email address, guys. The email at the Gmail account. Okay. Let's try to check if they already have. It already has received the email. Okay. Let's wait for a little while. See? All right. So you need to say that your that is already is already working and successful well, guys congratulations to you i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i hope you uh you click the like button share and subscribe to my channel and of course please do not forget to click the notification bell below so that you will get notified of my new videos okay guys so i hope to see you next time guys